Hello friends, this video on matter in surroundings part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What is matter? The whole chapter is about the matter in surrounding. The first question that comes to our mind is what is matter? See, there are various definitions for matter. I say everything in the universe is matter. Any physical object you see in the universe is object, is matter. For example, the air we breathe, this air is matter. The food we eat is matter. The water, the water we drink, in fact, this water from the rain is again matter. The clouds are also matter. Right? The stones are also matter. Animals, these animals which you see, dog, buffalo, cow, they also have matter. The soil, the sand, the plants, these plants are also matter. The car, the cricket ball, in fact, we are also matter. Human itself, you can say, they are matter. Right? The wood, the fire, any physical object in fact, the sun is also matter. Any physical object. Is matter. So example of something that is not matter, for example, love, affection, honesty. These are all abstract now. Those are not matter. But any physical object are matter. In fact, Indian science classify matter into five Tattva, air, earth, fire, sky and water. But like that, that is as per the Indian science. Air, earth, fire, sky, water. That is the Indian science. But actually matter will be classified based on their physical and chemical properties. We will study that in the next few slides. Just understand that. Anything we see, which is physical object, is matter. But massless particle, for example, photons, the light which comes from sun, that basic unit is photon. This photon is not having any mass. So this is not matter. So matter, if you see the first two word MA, you can actually remember that something that has mass is matter. Love, affection, honesty doesn't have mass. Photon will not have mass, so they are not matter. But if you see the food, water, plants, animals, human, the cricket ball or car, air in fact also has mass. So you can say anything that has mass is matter. Okay. Now matter can be classified based on their physical properties also and chemical properties also. So in this chapter we will be studying classification of matter based on their physical properties actually matter are classified into five different groups based on their physical properties the first three are pretty prominent and we'll be studying actually the first three only this is solid we'll study more about solid example is ice and then we have liquid for example water and then we have water vapors as gas so these are three different physical state of matter. There are other two, they are plasma and BE consolidate, that is Bose-Einstein consolidate. These two are exactly opposite of each other. So if you talk about plasma, example can be lightning, electric spark or neon light. So they are uh, very uh, charged particles, charged particle actually, very high energy. And this Bose-Einstein condensate, this happens at 0 Kelvin, that is minus 273 degree Celsius, where uh, the energy of the particle is almost 0. So they have different properties actually. So they are further classified, but we will not study about these two. Uh, these, This is plasma and this is B, E. Condensate. 
So we'll not will not study about these two. We'll be focusing only on these three: solid, liquid, and gas in the whole chapter. Okay. So anything that has mass is matter, and for our chapter, matter is classified into three different types: solid, liquid, and gas. Okay. Matter actually is made of particles. This is something we studied now. Any matter you take, you take human beings, you take car, you take trees, plants, anything is actually made of particles. You break it, you find a particle. Now the question is: Is the matter continuous, like solid or it? Or is it like sand? Sand in the sand watch. If you see, there are small small particles, right? There are small small particles. You can actually separate them. So the question is: Is matter continuous or is like particle? So we can take an activity to prove this. What we can do is we can take some water. So let's suppose uh, we take two uh, ml water. We can take any amount. That is coming into you. We'll fill this water in the beaker. We'll, we'll mark a level here. This is the level. Two fifty ml. Now what we we'll do? We'll dissolve. This is you can take salt here. I have taken uh, sugar. You can take salt crystals, sugar crystals. You can take any of these, right? Now we'll, what we'll do is we'll dissolve this salt or sugar in this. Now we see what happens is this goes down and then we'll. Take this uh, steering rod, and then we'll steer it, and gradually you will see that the sugar or the salt will be dissolved. Now notice things. First thing, if you see the water level is same, water level has not changed, right? So first thing I notice here is observation is water level. Is constant. Okay. Can you think why water level is constant? See, water level is constant. And the only justification to this is there were spaces in this water molecules, in this water, and the water somehow dissipated in that space. Correct. So, if I'm adding some sugar in this, and the sugar is gone, that means The sugar molecules is absorbed by this water space. That means this water had something like this molecules, and these molecules had some space. For example, this is the space, right? And in this space, the sugar crystals, the one in the square, got absorbed. Correct. The circle is the water molecule, and the square is the sugar. That is what it proves. That means it is made of particles, and these particles are continuous like sand. That's why, if you see, if you have very solid kind of particles, you can't mix so easily. If you want to mix something, this is not possible. But in this sand, if you want to mix sugar or salt, you can easily mix it because sand also you can actually see the space between them. In this case also there is space, but actually this the level at which we are talking is at uh, a very micro level, and you actually can't see that space with the naked eye. You need really high high quality or um, instruments to see the space between the molecules, right? But in the case of case of sand, it's almost same. But in case of sand, the space uh, you can actually see the space because this is bigger. The molecules are bigger. So the point I'm trying to uh, say here is. Water level is not is constant. That means whatever sugar or salt you added got absorbed in this. It got absorbed. That means there were spaces, right? And also this sugar and salt is spread throughout the water. So if you take some amount of water from here, some amount of water here, it will be equal salty or it will be equal sweet. Right. So the other thing is the salt. Let's suppose we have used spread throughout what 
Okay, these two are the observation we have seen here. Also, the reason why water level is constant is this uh, salt stays in space between water molecules. So these three observation. So with this, it is confirmed that water is made of particles or any matter is made of particles. See, if that was a big chunk, if, if the water would have been big chunk, for example, in this case, if you are trying to add salt, it will not penetrate in. But in this, if you try to add salt, it will mix easily. So going by these two, because this is more visual, it is visual. This you can't visualize because this is happening at micro level. That means there is some space between the water molecules and salt got the space between them and it is in the water and the water level has not increased and that's the reason the water level has not increased. Okay, you can do this experiment in your home pretty easy. You can take a beaker, put some water, mark the level, add some salt, stir it, you'll see the water level will not increase. So with this it confirms that matter is made of particles but how big is the particle is it small is it big so let's see the size of particle and this is how you can see the visual so this is how it looks if you see for example this is my water molecule and this is my salt molecule so if you see your three dimension view the water molecules have space between them and salt somehow got the space between these water molecules and thus the water level has not thank you Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.